Oh, what's going on, everybody? Here and a welcome back to some more Subnautica. So we're back. We're doing the things. We're doing the stuff. And today we need a we need a sea moth. I feel like that's a I feel like that's a realistic goal for us to have. So today we're gonna try to find the sea moth. <laughs> um, I do still have a cold, and I do apologize. Um, if I just don't sound the same, it's because I'm not. I'm just not the same right now. It's terrible. But yes, uh, thank you all so much for coming back. Hopefully, you're all having a wonderful day. I'm having a fantastic day can't complain uh we actually you know what we probably should go ahead and work on our food and water situation just a little bit before we get going here and uh get that figured out so yeah let's get this going here also you know what i want to i want i want to uh, i want you to leave a comment let me know i am thinking that maybe at some point in this series i don't even know if it's available yet but we need to check out that gargantuan or the 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 big guy we need to check out that big guy mod so i did a whole modded playthrough and it was a lot of fun it was a good time but there's like a new mod where it's like the the big guy you know what i'm saying and i want to i think we should check that out at some point like i said though i don't even know if it's available yet so uh, but leave a comment would you be interested i'm curious i'm very curious but let's get some food in us to start with here and we need to consume that consume that actually you know what let's go and get uh, we need some more water and stuff. All right, we are looking oh oh so much better now. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves up too. All right, we're 100%. Let's go. Let's do this. So we are going to need a few things. We are going to need the sea moth, and we're going to need the mobile vehicle bay fragments. Which, you know, I've played this game so many times. I don't even know where they're at half the time. I'm probably going to have to look it up, but I think they're down here somewhere because we have the rebreather now. Um, if I I, I want to say that they're down. Is this the red grass area? I think so. I think they're down in this area. Almost positive. Like the first uh, sea moth piece is like right over. It's in the middle of this area right here. It was right, it's right over here. It's right over here. Almost positive. <laughs> I think maybe I could be wrong, but I could have also be right. I could be oh so right. Uh, what is this? Is this sea moth piece or is this bioreactor? Bioreactor. Darn it. I don't need a bioreactor. I need a sea moth. A bar table. I guess everybody needs a bar table for your bar stuff, especially when you're trapped on an alien water world. And you know, do we know that this is a water world now? Like, what if we're just in the middle of the ocean? You know, like if somebody crash landed on Earth and they're in the middle of the ocean, they would think it was just a water world. You know, like you'd go for long ways and ways and not see anything. Maybe I don't know. I might have been a liar about the uh, about about the uh, the sea moth piece. I thought I was right over here. Oh, you know what? It's down here, isn't it? No, I could have swear there's a sea moth piece laying right around one of these uh, one of these pillars. Oh, we got some radiation. <laughs> okay, we can't go anywhere any further that way. <laughs> Don't touch the radio radioactive airwaves. Not good. Not good at all. Oh no! Come on. There's a piece right there. Do we should we try to go get it? Let's just try to get it. It's mine. It's mine. All right, we're out. We will we will suffer through radiation to get our sea moth because you know, we need a personal submersive device that can take us to the depths of the world. We need that more than ever. Um okay, so there was that. We got one piece. <laughs> one piece. <laughs> you know, so I also just realized that I I do have a cold. I am taking some cold medicines, you know. Uh I might <laughs> I might miss some things. <laughs> I don't see I don't see anything resembling sea moth pieces and I feel as though I'm not in the air what is, what is this over here is this the area I didn't feel like I was in the area that I was looking for maybe this is the area that I was looking for just a little lost little turned around here you know it doesn't matter if I get the sea moth because I don't have the mobile vehicle bay yet uh I mean that's a fragment of a laser cutter which we absolutely will need. And let's go to the top. Whee! This air bladder is like one of the greatest things ever. I am so glad. I completely underestimated that thing originally. Whoa, hold on, hold on. what's this? That's a bioreactor fragment right there. That's a bioreactor fragment right there as well. But I mean, I guess we're gonna go ahead and get a bioreactor going even though we don't have a base. <laughs> oh no, let's see moth fragment. Yay. Okay, so there's there's two of three sea moth fragments. Uh oh, you know what? I bet you. I bet you there's mobile vehicle by fragments in one of these. Ding ding ding. Look at that. There's one. 
And then I bet you there's another one. Another one bites the dust. I bet you there's another one in here. Nope. Laser fragment. I'll take it. And then we're going to go to the surface real fast, quick, and in a hurry. Uh, the bends? Nah, we don't have to worry about that. Don't you have to be down to a certain depth where you have to worry about that? Oh, you know what? I wasn't, I didn't stay on the surface long enough last time. That's why I was wondering, I was like, man, I'm not, I haven't been underwater very long. This is, uh, this is kind of poopy. All right, so we got a laser cutter fragment from there. We got, uh, the, um, mobile vehicle bay, <laughs> mobile vehicle bay, uh, from there. We've got to find more goodies. There's got to be more goodies here. I'm almost positive there's another Seamoth piece over here somewhere. That's not Seamoth. That's Bioreactor Fragment. We already unlocked the Bioreactor Fragment. Now I'm just getting Titanium. <gasps> just got to fill up my inventory. <gasps> Seamoth Fragment. Oh, Bioreactor. <sighs> you know, I wonder. Hear me out here. Did they just take a Bioreactor and throw some engines on it and make it a Seamoth? Because they look very similar. Or did they take a personal submarine and turn it into a bioreactor. Hey, don't you do that. I'm gonna scan it from right here, from the safety of this cover. If I had a laser pistol, I would go pew, 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 and I would shoot you. All right, and mobile vehicle bay fragment. Let's go, laser cutter fragment. I think this is the last one though, isn't it? Or did we already get the laser cutter? Hey, there she is. We needed it anyways. Oh, I need these though too, because we need silver. And lead. We need silver and lead. Oh, that guy wants to eat me. Okay, we need to find the rest of the mobile vehicle bay fragments. We need to find the rest of the mobile vehicle bay fragments. They're over here somewhere in the containers. We are gonna find them. Maybe it's this one, or is this the same one that I already looked at? I think this is the same one I already looked at. Yeah, I sure did. Well, so I'm over here looking for a mobile vehicle bay fragments, you know, and thinking about my life here in Subnautica, and that this is like the fifth playthrough I've ever done of this game, and. Uh, I keep playing it, you know, I keep coming back to it. Could Subnautica be the best survival game of all time? Like, is, is it, is, are we, t are we talking like that caliber of game that Subnautica, like if, if you had to recommend one de facto survival game for somebody to play, is Subnautica the game? Is that the game? And I don't even, I'm going to tell you right now, the first comment I see from Minecraft, you're banned. If you say Minecraft, you're banned. Okay. All right, Minecraft doesn't count. Not different realm, <laughs> it's a different thing. But is Subnautica like the de facto survival game? I'm curious. I wouldn't, con I wouldn't consider Minecraft a survival game. I'd consider it a sandbox game, but that's what I'm saying. Just, you, don't even, don't even, just get out of here with that. Okay, so I think we got everything we needed, right? Oh, except for the last piece of the Seamoth, which is, what wreck is this? I don't even, where am I? Man, I am like, uh, I'm a little bit away. Uh, away. Uh, so we need one more piece of Seamoth. <laughs> Just one more piece. Just one more piece. One more piece of Seamoth and then we'll be golden. I'm telling you, there's a piece of a Seamoth somewhere that I have not found yet. And I, I swear it's in the, like the red, the red grass area. But the red grass area is right over here. <laughs> And I didn't find it was right. It's around one of these pillars. Like I'm almost positive. <gasps> is it this one? Maybe it's this one right here. It was dark out earlier. You know, I kind of missed it. It's right there. There you are. I knew it was right here somewhere. And we've got a seam off. All right. So now we need to craft the sucker, Um, which I'm pretty sure we're going to need uh, silver for silver and gold i need so much silver and gold i need it all give me all the goodies there's some gold okay that's all the gold i need i think i, I think we needed like one gold uh possibly for this maybe even less than one which i don't know that that's possible but maybe Ooh, get this before i get stuck ah, inventory's full no darn it what was it was it silver no it's lead i don't even care lead can whatever lead is lead i am gonna need a lead suit here pretty soon though oh there's another piece we'll come back for it later all right hold on i gotta see fluid intake all right we need to get some food we need to see what we need for this and you know what i feel like i feel like we need to do a science experiment because i've never actually it, it's the floaters right everybody's everybody's like oh the floaters you know everybody's played with the i've never actually played with the floaters i really haven't so i'm kind of like thinking that maybe maybe this playthrough should be the playthrough that i, I play with the floaters you know what i'm saying um, okay, so in order for us to get the things that we need, we need this guy. Titanium ingot, lubricant, and a power cell. Do I have stuff for titanium ingot? You bet I do. And lubricant. 
right here and then a power cell is that what we needed hold on a second lubricant power so wow wowza um i need copper oh i need mushrooms i need some shroomies come here shroomies how come mushrooms are like super super plants on every planet you know it just seems like the what they're the one plant like think about it you, you hear all these things about mushrooms and how like all they have they have these like amazing characteristics and abilities and stuff and then like but nobody likes them <laughs> nobody eats them <laughs> they're like terrible it's like a superfood it's like eh, i'm good i don't want to live to be 103 you know i just I'd, I'd rather not eat a mushroom um okay so i need oh i need lube uh, i need silicone right is that what i'm missing i think i'm missing silicon rubber again maybe not okay personal deal mobile vehicle bay my god it's happening all right so we got the mobile vehicle bay let's go ahead and let's pop out here <gasps> release the vehicle bay oh i will i will release it don't you even worry i will release it and release <gasps> oh can you name the uh can you name the drones mm. we named the drones at one point a long time ago first comment to name the drones gets brownie points which have absolutely no monetary value or social value whatsoever. Titanium ingot, power cell, glass lubricant, and lead. Okay. Oh, I think I have all of that. Let's go find out. <laughs> I might not have the glass. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I don't have all of it. Uh, lubricant? I don't have lubricant. Okay. Uh, I don't have a power cell. Mm, I don't have... Oh, I don't have any water okay this is not good hold on a second let's uh let's drop some stuff off here let's pop down in here we gotta go get some water real quick oh i need another battery for this oh i should have swapped the batteries out before i did the stupid oh before i made the power cell why didn't i do that i'll do it this time though i will do it and i won't forget i need a bladder fish i need a bladder fish i need a battle fish turn into water you shall become a water bottle i am going to turn you i'm going to evolve your form from bladder fish to a water bottle i know you didn't even know it was a thing surprise oh we got a new message somebody sent us a message let's hit the message button and we're gonna make food while we watch while we listen this is to this from the cafeteria what the hell guys they didn't want us this might happen our pod was almost crushed by the seamoth bay on the way down now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system and this grim looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull <laughs> get us already the the grim looking snake thing so basically it's an instant beef jerky maker that is amazing i could go for some instant beef jerky you know what i'm saying instant beef jerky uh-oh within two hours oh no whatever will we do i need copper i need titanium i need lubricant uh so let's do this let's go over here let's check you for copper not copper let's grab uh lubricant requires two of these one two i don't need any more because they take up a lot of inventory space <gasps> oh no under cover of darkness we shall find the rest of our stuff darn i need more copper oh no it, it was darkness oh no i'm out of batteries come on copper yay i need now i need more copper than that though all right, I think I got some of the stuff we needed. Um, let's see here. So let's grab the lubricant. I know we need that. The glass. I know I needed one. I need I need two glass, but I think yeah, I had two in here. And then let's see. Oh, I need mushrooms and silicone rubber. Silicone rubber. And then some mushies. Got to get some mushies. And then I need to swap out my batteries before I make the power cell. All right, so in here, boom, 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 battery. Okay, cool. So we'll go ahead and make one, then we'll make a two, and then we won't make a power cell. Stop, don't do it. Make sure you swap your power source out first. And you know what? Um, the scanner, we probably will never ever use the scanner's battery so we're gonna go ahead and just swap out the laser cutter and then we're gonna go into here and then we're gonna go into here and here and here and then this one and then boom we have a power cell it's free energy so we've got the power cell we've got the glass oh wait hold on we need another glass um i also need a titanium ingot 
power cell two glass titanium ingot lubricant what else am i missing i'm missing something else i need more titanium i know i need more titanium uh so let's just grab that real fast quick fast and in a hurry okay i think we should be good so titanium ingot time all right i think that's everything i'm missing something i know i'm missing something but i want to see if i can do i want to see if i can just remember did i did i remember it uh where's my right here okay i'm missing something. what am i missing was it silver was there a wiring kit involved or something oh there's a piece of lead one singular piece of lead i thought i had that in my inventory <laughs> darn it i was so close all right boom one singular piece of lead we are good and we're good let's go ahead and head into here let's build our personal submarine craft submersible one person sea ins what hold on a second when did that say sea and space vehicle the sea moth is a fast safe mode of transport but remember that swimming what? is good for your glutes so that's a spaceship as well when was that a thing when was the sea moth a sea and space vehicle why is it called the sea moth if it's a sea and space vehicle it should be called like a an mp v in multi-purpose vehicle something or other interesting i don't remember ever seeing that could that be a clue to the next subnautica the next series in the franchise is it space nautica now <laughs> and we're gonna be using the sea moth I mean, it looks like a spaceship. It just works in water. I mean, I guess why not? I don't know. The drive maybe wouldn't work underwater, but I have no idea. Interesting. Okay. Wow. That's, I, uh, did I miss that forever? I don't feel like it used to say that. I don't think it said, I don't think it used to say sea and space, but I could be wrong. All right. So now we are in the comforts of our own little sub submarine. Now, um, I personally, oh my gosh, the sea moth makes me feel so much safer. Does it make you feel safer? Do you, do you feel safer swimming outside amongst all the alien things with just your little squishy body? Or do you feel safer in a submersible like this that could implode at any moment <laughs> if you go below 200 meters until you get it upgraded? <laughs> oh, oh, look, there's a beacon right there. Okay, so now that we have this bad boy, mm -hmm, things are happening. Things are happening indeed. Um, we are about to have an explosion happen shortly. And uh, I'd like to actually see the radiation suit. What what do we need for the rad suit? Did we get, oh, we don't get the radiation suit until, that's right. We don't get it until the thing actually blows up. So um, I know we need fiber mesh. I know we need silicone rubber. I know we need lead. We're probably gonna need glass at some point, but I can't, I can't remember exactly what we need. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know for sure. Oh, there's a water in there. Oh, wonderful. Okay. So, uh, yeah, this guy. So this is supposed to be, this could be a space vehicle too. I mean, I guess like that could be an ion drive. And these little things over here, these could all just be little thrusters. No way. I mean, it looks like a spaceship. I mean, even even it looks like a spaceship. I just, I'm just, I'm still just a little, I'm a little, a little struck, a little taken aback by that. Okay. Um, oh, we're going to play with floaters. <laughs> Let's play with floaters for a little bit because we kind of need to wait for the, uh, the thing to kind of like go pop anyways. So I want to see these floors. I haven't played with floaters like ever. Can I, can I take you? I got floater. So what we want to attach floaters to is any object that is in the water that maybe we don't want in the water anymore that we want to see flying. I think a reef vac is an ex perfect example of a floater host. You know what I'm saying? Did it stick to it? Ow, he got me. Is he floating yet? No, not floating yet. Okay, I think those are stuck to it. I think so. Oh, he's definitely going up. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Let's get more floaters. I want to see if we can make a flying thing. I'm sure this has already been done like a hundred times, but like I have to do it myself. Oh, I think he's going up. 
Oh, we need to auction him. Oh, is he going up a little bit? Oh, maybe. Or maybe not. Oh my gosh, we have more. <laughs> more floaters. Okay, so. Hmm. I think it's working. I think we need more though. And I'm not actually sure how many we can find. Like, I mean, I've seen them around, but like, I don't actually pay attention to how many there actually are around here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch right here. I feel like they put these here on purpose just so you could try this, you know? Uh-oh. Quantum detonation has occurred. Oh no! We can't miss the super critical state. Oh, this is really close. Oh, she's gonna go boom boom. Oh, she's gonna go boom boom. Oh, she's going. Yep, there she went. You know, almost every single time I've witnessed this, it's on the island. So that was the first time I ever actually like saw that like right here. It was, it was pretty neat. Um, hold on, do we have more room for uh more floaters? Oh yes. Oh yes, indeed. Okay, more floaters. And then we got to do the radiation suit uh, because like, you know, we're going to die if we don't do that. All right, my inventory is completely, completely full. Oh, floaters. Maybe we can't get this thing to float. I don't know. Like maybe, maybe we don't have enough floater power here, you know? Uh, that's it. That's all the floaters I have. Hmm. I don't think that affected it at all. Like if I have to be completely honest, I don't think it did anything. Darn it. Ah, oh, okay. Well, Maybe this guy's an immovable object, you know, like it's set on a path. Can't do anything about it Was really hoping that that would work though. All right, let's grab some. Let's grab some of these guys back Let's go play with Let's put them on something else here Something else. Maybe that can move <gasps> They all respond did they all respond? Oh my gosh, there's just so many floaters here. Maybe that will work I don't think you could maybe you can't float those. I have no idea I mean it takes like four to float this little rock right here. Maybe it takes a lot more to float that guy you know, I kind of want to like just try it and put it on something and see if it even works. Like, what if we put it on like some kind of like, what if we put it on this guy, you know? There, have that. Is that gonna make you float? I don't know. Let's give it another one. There you go. There you go. Is he going? I mean, he's going up. But he's going up on his own accord. I have no idea. <laughs> Let's give it another one. No, 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 no. I don't want to hit those. I don't want to hit your stinky balls. Here, I got another one for you, bud. And another one. You know what? There's a good chance that maybe it just takes a lot more. Or maybe it doesn't work on the movie. <laughs> like the living creatures. <laughs> I don't even know where our friend went. He gone. He took them floaters and left. Huh. <laughs> I don't even, oh, there he is. Well, I have some more gifts for him. Let's just give him the rest of the gifts and then uh, we'll be on our way. Oh, he's going up. Oh, he's up. Oh, he's up, up. Uh-oh. 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 Are you too floaty? He might be too floaty. I think, I don't think he can get back down. I think we floated him. He's a now a surface dwelling sea animal. He had to come up for some fresh air. I mean, it works. Oh, ew, he put some gas over here. So, but like, is that gonna work with this guy? You know, like, well, is it worth it? No, probably not. See, I thought the floaters made things float up higher too. Like I thought even, I thought they were broken to the point where they would like lift things completely out of the water. Um, it doesn't really look like it though. I'm just gonna give you all these floaters so you can have them all. They're all for you. I give gifts. Yeah, he's not he's not leaving the water by any means. Okay, all right, we're done playing with those. I'm sorry. Sidetracked, we had to do it. I've never done it before. It was fun, it was interesting, it was neat. Let's go see what I need for our radiation suit now because that is going to be a big deal here shortly for us. So, suit. Radiation suit, two fiber mesh and two lead. That is it. Guess what? Uh, two lead, two fiber mesh. Boom, boom, and one radiation suit. Now that's all the pieces, isn't it? Yep, sure is. Okay. 
So we got gloves, we got the suit, we just need to put the helmet on whenever we go over there to do the helmet things. Um, are we ready for the Aurora? Oh, I guess we probably are. We got the repair tool, we got a knife, uh, we got some food and water, we got some of those. We, yeah, we're probably good. We could probably go and fix the Aurora, take that out, do the things, do the stuff. That could be fun. Um, it's always a good time. So maybe we'll do that next episode. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. But that's going to end this one. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.